because we're in the middle of fire season as well. So keeping an eye on that, really the only thing that we've been seeing recently is a little bit of added cloud cover from that monsoon circulation that's a little bit farther towards our east. The overnight hours last night brought us a little bit of that cloud cover. This wonderful photo sent in by MC Chavez out in Cayucas. You can see just a little bit of that cloud cover. Nothing really big going on there. If you have any photos like this one that you're particularly proud of, we'd love to see them. Just send them to us using the hashtag be on KSBY so we can showcase them right here on KSBY News. Now, we did see a little bit of those high level clouds earlier on in the evening. This morning, we're continuing to see some more of that dense fog that we typically see through the morning hours, mainly on our western beaches in areas that are particularly prone to that fog, including Morro Bay, the Cayucas area, and along all of our western beaches and some of our coastal valleys. That is going to be clearing out relatively quickly as the sun continues to rise, making way for all this clear, beautiful skies that are, we're going to be seeing for the rest of the daytime hours today. So good news there in terms of our temperatures starting to warm up just a little bit. About 58 degrees right now in Santa Maria, 54 in San Inez and San Luis Obispo, 61 in Santa Barbara, and 63 degrees in the Coyama Valley. Really comfortable conditions as you start off your day, but we are continuing to monitor the big changes in our forecast. So we've got that big low pressure system associated with the monsoon that's continuing to stick around, but we're also seeing this big dip in the jet stream that's bringing southerly winds to us here on the central coast, not just today, but tomorrow and all the way through Friday. And each of those days is going to warm us up in the interior valleys just a little bit more so triple digits are expected once again with clear skies but as we move even farther into the forecast this low pressure system becomes even more important it's going to scooch its way just a little bit closer to us and bring us at least the possibility of some of the showers that have been associated with this this is just the last about 12 hours but we're going to be continuing to see a little bit of that moving a little closer much later in the forecast so 8 to 14 days in the climate outlook we're going to be continuing to see the scoot just a little bit west each day and this is one from just today where you can see we're just on the edge of this 30 percent chance of above normal precipitation we're in the dry season so any above normal precipitation would be rain here on the central coast so we're keeping an eye on that as of right now we can't have any timing on that but there is a chance but it's a ways farther into our forecast but so for today we've got comfortable conditions 95 degrees in Paso Robles 80 in San Luis Obispo 74 in Santa Maria and Santa Barbara, 72 degrees in Lompoc for today. Along our north coast, comfortable conditions, 66 in Morro Bay, 68 degrees in Cambria, and 96 degrees in San Miguel in the Five Cities region. Comfortable conditions, 75 in Napomo, 68 in Pismo Beach, and 93 degrees in California Valley. And in Santa Barbara County, comfortable conditions along those coasts, 78 in Goleta, 88 in San Inez, and 75 degrees in Orchid. Over the next few days, we're going to warm up even more in those interiors. Triple digits expected for Friday and Saturday in the Paso Road area. Elsewhere, comfortable conditions for the rest of your seven-day forecast with lots and lots of sunshine no matter where you are on the central coast. Janelle, back to you.